obesity, heart disease, anxiety, all of these diseases are prevalent, yet none of them are contagious and all of them are preventable. And you're likely doing things in your own life to help you prevent the, getting these diseases, be it physical activity or watching what you eat and drink, although perhaps not tonight. But what if I told you that the health that you experience here is strongly influenced by what happened here when you were developing as a baby? Now, this is an area that's known as the early life origins of adult disease. And when you see an image such as this one, the concept makes complete sense. Here we have a developing baby with such potential and complexity arising from simplicity. So of course, if the growth and development of this baby is impeded, it is going to alter how its organs function and therefore set it off on a different health trajectory later on in life. Moreover, if this baby is small, it is more at risk of things such as stillbirth. So what can we do to prevent this? Well, I'd like to shift your focus to this amazing organ on the left, the placenta. So the placenta transports blood, nutrients and waste to and from the baby. But did you know that your placenta was responsible for laying down the pathways in your brain that you now use for emotional responses? Did you know that the blood coming out of your placenta directly affected how your liver and heart developed and therefore how it is functioning right now in this room? None of us realised this until recently. So the placenta provides us with a diagnostic and therapeutic opportunity, but it's understandably very difficult to access and study. So how do we overcome these challenges? Well, this is where my research group comes in. So we are developing new ways to image, model and predict blood flow within the placenta, which is what you are looking at here. This enables us to not only better understand nutrient transport, but other questions such as the force of the blood coming out of the placenta and how it's affecting the organ development of the baby. Utilising this knowledge, we have recently been able to show in a model of pregnancy complication that we can actually enhance the growth of the foetus and also improve its heart function. So if we want to reduce the prevalence of diseases such as heart disease, we have to be focusing on prevention, not cure. Utilising this work, we are poised for future generations to be able to not only diagnose but also to prevent the onset of their adult diseases before it's even begun. Thank you.